Alright, so on, so on. Call Lay La, Yao Basim Yao Shai Basim Hakadash. Double odds to the L's and the apostles, a great millstone who will well peace, blessings, and salutations go to the whole for let that scatter abroad. To your brothers out there pushing the sugar without righteousness and sincerity. And to the y'all go out the few sisters instead of listening and learning to you, I say Sean Wong. Coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of y'all by Shem Yaw Shai. Go in and tell the fire and feed the lambs of y'all by Shem Yaw Shai. Praise and let's be at the fire and straight to the point. And y'all have to excuse me. You know, I'm a little under the weather. All right. So, you know, bear with me. All right. I'm going to try to go through this, you know, these scriptures, you know, as, you know, as quick as I can, you know. But, uh. I don't know what I'm entitled to this lesson, but without further ado, all right? Without further ado, let's get started, man. Okay, and Lord, when I pray this lesson, man, and find it straight to the point. All right. I'm going to start here. <clears throat> this is Jeremiah chapter 16, and verse 14. Therefore, behold, the day is come, said the Lord, Yahabashim Yahashah, that, that it shall no more be said, the Lord, Yahabashim Yahashah, live. That brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. All right. We was delivered out of ancient Egypt. We're going to be delivered out of this modern day Egypt. Okay. Which is America, Babylon, the great. Okay. Verse 15. But the Lord, Yahabashim, Yahashah, liveth. That brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. And what is that? America. All right. We're in the northern hemisphere. Okay. So the great deliverance is going to come out, you know, in America. Babylon the Great, all right, and throughout the four corners of the earth, where the elect, it's like where the, uh, where the elect is scattered, okay, because you got Israelites that are scattered amongst the heathen that look like the heathen, okay. Verse, uh, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 15. But the Lord Yahweh shall live at that brother of the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands where he had driven them, all right, because like I said, we were, we were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Okay, so you're going to have Israelites that are going to come looking like the heathen. Okay. And, and I was, and I was, and I will bring them again to their land that I gave to their fathers. Okay. So the Lord, Yahweh, is going to put us back in the land of Israel. Okay, he's going to deliver us. He's a let. Okay. <clears throat> this is uh Isaiah chapter 14 verse 1 for the Lord Yahweh shall have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land and the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob okay and that's the Israelites foreigners that are scattered amongst the heathen that look like the heathen alright they're going to be gathered throughout the four corners of the earth Let's prove that. I think that's Isaiah 11 and verse 11. Yep. Isaiah chapter 11, verse 11. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord Yahweh shall set his hand again a second time to recover the remnant of his people. This is when Yahweh comes back and delivers his people, man. All right. We, starting with the elect. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's read this again. Isaiah chapter 11, verse 11. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord Yahweh shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath. And from the islands of the sea. Verse 12. And he shall set a, set up in an assign for the nations. And shall assemble the outcasts of Israel. And gather together the dispersed of Judah. From the four corners of the earth. Okay. Right. Let's go. Let's go here. This is Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 7. For thus said the Lord Yahweh Shai, saying with gladness for Jacob 
and shout among the chief of the nations. Publish ye, praise ye, and say, O Lord, how about seeing our side? Save thy people, the remnant of Israel. All right? Because there's a remnant, okay? And only Yahweh Shai is coming back to deliver his remnant, the elect. All right? Verse 8. Behold, I will bring them from the north country and gather them from the coast of the earth. And with them, the blind and the lame and the woman with child and her that travaileth. With child together, a great company shall return hither. Okay? And the elect is waking up throughout the four corners of the earth. Okay? Alright. Let's see what else we got. This is Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 5. Behold, the day is come, saith the Lord, Yahweh, and Shai, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch. And a king shall reign and prosper and shall execute judgment and judgment in the earth. This is talking about Yah <coughs> Excuse me. This is talking about Yahweh Shai. Okay. That righteous branch is talking about Yahweh Shai. Let's see what else here. Anyway. Verse 6. In his day, Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. Okay, so Judah, all right, starting with the so-called Negroes, all right, along with Benjamin and Levi and the other tribes, okay, all right, which is talking about Israel, so-called Latinos and Native Americans, okay, and this is his name, whereby he shall be called the Lord of our righteousness, verse 7. Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord Yahweh and Yah Shai, that sh they shall no more say, the Lord Yahweh and Yah Shai living, which brought up the children of Israel out of the, out of the land of Egypt. Verse 8. But the Lord Yahweh and Yah Shai living, which brought up the children, and which led them from the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country. All right. Starting about America. Okay. So that great deliverance is going to come out of America, okay? Because you got the remnant scattered here, okay? And you got the remnant that's scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And from all countries, I have driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land, okay? So Yahusha is going to put us back in our own land, okay? Yeah, let's go back here. Let's go back here. This is Isaiah 14, verse 1 again. For the Lord Yahweh shall have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Verse 2. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord Yahweh shall shall for servants and handmaids. So the Israelites are going to have slaves in the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay? These heathen nations and these Edomites. Okay? All right? Their asses are going into captivity. Okay? And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressor. All right? Who's our number one oppressor in this society? All right? The Edomites are. They oppress us day in and day out. Okay? Let's continue. Verse 3. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord Yahweh shall, shall give thee rest from thy sorrow <coughs> and from thy fear and from thy hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. So we're going to have true rest in the kingdom of heaven, man. <laughs> okay? We're going to have true rest. Or hey, you know, you know, me, I can't wait. Because I'm sick of this place, man. Okay? Verse 4. <coughs> that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon. <coughs> and who's the king of Babylon? Who's ruining in Babylon the great America? Esau, even the so-called white man. And say, how had the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. 
Verse 5. The Lord Yahweh had broken the staff of the wicked and the sector of the rulers. Okay? So the Lord Yahweh is coming back. Say, hey, you coming back to take these devils out of power, man. Okay? <clears throat> Let's go here. Ezekiel chapter 39 and verse 22. So the house of Israel shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh and outside their power, personal pronoun, from that day and forward. Verse 3. It's like verse 23. And the heathen shall know <coughs> that I am the house. That, let me read that again. Ezekiel 39 verse 23. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel all twelve tribes went into captivity for their iniquity, because they trespassed against me. Therefore hid I my face from them, and they and gave them unto the hands of their enemies. So fell they all by the sword. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> okay. So hey, all twelve tribes went into captivity, man. All right, because of our iniquity. All right, we sinned against the heavenly father, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> Verse 24. According to their uncleanness and according to their transgressions, have I done unto them and hid my face from them. Verse 25. Therefore thus say the Lord, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, power. Now will I bring again the captivity of Jacob and will have mercy upon the whole house of Israel. And will be jealous for my holy name. And what's the name of the Lord? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Okay. Verse 26. After that, they have bored their shame and had their and all their trespasses, whereby they have trespassed against me when they dwell safely in the, their land and make and none made them afraid. Alright. So the Lord Yahabashin Yahshua is going to put us back in the land, man. Okay? And no one should make him afraid. Okay? Let's go to... Let's go here. This is Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 28. Israel then shall dwell in safety alone. The foundation of Jacob shall be upon a land of corn and wine. Also, his heaven shall drop down dew. Okay? Alright? So, hey, we're going to dwell in safety alone, man. Okay? Ain't those people over there in the land of Israel who claiming to be us, they dwelling in safety alone? No, they're not. Okay? The tr that's because the true people are not in the land. Okay? The imposters are over there, man. Okay? <clears throat> So they don't fit the prophecies. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go here. Baruch chapter 2 and verse 30. For I knew that they would not hear me. Because it is a stick neck people. Now people are stiff neck and hard headed man. Okay. You Israelites. You so called Negroes and Latinos in the America. Okay. But in the land of their captivities. They shall remember themselves. And we're starting to remember who we are. We will wake up. Okay? So we're starting to wake up. Alright? Verse 31. And this and shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh and Yahshai, their power. For I will give them in heart and ears to hear. Verse 32. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. All right, and we're thinking on the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahshua's name. All right, the true names you have them, it's lucky. Yahweh Ba Shem Yahshua. Okay, <clears throat> the Heavenly Father, which is the name is Yahweh, and our and our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai. Okay, and we're thinking upon the name, and we're calling on those names, man. And Yahweh Ba Shem Yahshua is hearing us. All right, He's hearing His elect. Okay, verse thirty-three. And return from their stick neck and from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the ways of their fathers, 
was sin before the Lord Yahweh Verse 34. And I will bring them again to the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And they shall be lords over it. All right, we're going to be kings. Okay, all right, we're going to be kings in the kingdom of heaven. All right, we ain't kings yet. All right, but we're getting close. All right, we got to go through Jacob's trouble first. All right, and then when Yahushua deliver us and crown us, all right, crown his men, all right, the 144,000 mighty men, all right, then we're going to call ourselves kings, okay? We're going to be lords over, all right? We're going to be lords over these heathen nations, okay? And I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. Verse 35, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power, all right? The first and the second covenant is with the Israelites, man. <coughs> it ain't talking about all nations. <coughs> okay. The Lord said he's going to make an everlasting covenant with the Israelites, man. You can read that account in Hebrews, the 8th chapter. Okay. Verse 35. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power. And they shall be my people, and I will no more drive my people of Israel out of the land that I have given them. Okay, so we're never going to be driven out of the land anymore, man. Okay. <clears throat> right. Let's go here. This is Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 1. The word of the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord Yahweh and Yahweh saying, Thus speaketh to the two, slogging, verse two, Thus speaketh the Lord Yahweh and Yahweh power of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. Verse three, For lo, the days come, said the Lord Yahweh and Yahweh. And I will bring again the captivity of my people, Israel, and Judah. Okay. Excuse me. All right. Starting with the elect. Okay. As saith the Lord Yahweh and Yahshua. And I will cause them to return to the land that I gave unto their fathers, and they shall possess it. We're going to possess the land again. Okay. And we're also going to have slaves in the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay? Let's go down to verse 16. All right? Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thy adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Okay? Verse 17. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee from thy wounds, said the Lord Yahweh and Yahshai, because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, who no man seeketh after. Okay? So these people don't think, these people think that the Lord Yahweh and Yahshai forgot about his people. He has not. Okay? <coughs> Verse 18. Thus said the Lord Yahweh Shemshai, Behold, I will bring again the captivity of Jacob's tent, and have mercy on his dwelling places. And the city shall be built upon her own heaps. And the palace shall remain after the manner thereof. Okay? Jeremiah chapter 30, sorry, Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 12. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. Verse 13. And ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your hearts, which means your mind. And I will be found of you, said the Lord Yahweh Shai. And I will turn away your captivity, and I will gather you from all nations. You see, the 
And Lord Yahweh is going to gather us from every nation where we've been scattered. Okay? The great deliverance is going to come out of here in Babylon, the great America. Okay? And from all the palace, like, and from all the places where, whither I have driven you. <coughs> <clears throat> said the Lord Yahweh Yahshua, and I will bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. Okay, so the Lord Yahweh Yahshua is going to deliver his elect, man. He's going to turn away our captivity, man. So we're almost out of here. Okay, All right. Let's go here. Revelation chapter thirteen, verse nine and ten. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. All right? So you let the people away into captivity. So you devils, you Edomites are going to be led away into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So the let is patiently and faithfully waiting to put in captivity that put those in captivity and to kill with the sword that killed them with the sword. Okay? All right? <clears throat> Let's go here. This is Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 19. Behold, at that time will I undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that haunteth and gather her that, has, that was driven out. And I get them, give them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. So the Lord Yahweh Shah is going to give us that praise and fame, man. Okay? And that's coming soon. Okay? Verse 20. Verse 20. At that time will I bring you again, even the time that I gathered you. For I will make you. A name and a praise among all people of the earth. When I turn back your captivity before your eyes, said the Lord Yahweh Yahusha. So He's going to turn back our captivity. Okay, we're getting close to that. This is Psalms chapter thirty-one and verse one to the chief musician, a song of David, in thee. The old Lord Yahweh Yahshua, do I put my trust? Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Verse, verse two. Bow down, bow down thy ear unto me. Deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock, for an house of defense to save me. Verse three. For thou art my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for thy name's sake, lead me and guide me. Okay? Order thy steps and thy word. Okay? And we got to know the name. Okay? Yahweh, which is the name of the Father. Alright? And our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Okay? Verse 4. Pull me out of the net that they have privately, they laid privately for me. For thou art my strength. Okay? So the Lord Yahweh Shin Yahshua is going to deliver his elect, man. Okay? Psalms chapter 37 and verse 7. Mark the perfect man and behold the upright. For the end of that man is peace. Verse 38. But the transgressor, transgressors shall be destroyed together and the, the end of the wicked shall be cut off verse 39 <coughs> excuse me but <coughs> but the salvation of the righteous of the Lord he is our he is their strength in a time of trouble verse 40 and the Lord Yahweh Yahshua shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. And the elect, we trust in Yahweh Yahshua. 
So he's going to he's going to deliver us. Okay. All right. Let's go here. Psalms chapter 71 and verse 1. In thee, O Lord, how about she y'all shy? Do I put my trust? Let me never be put to confusion. Verse 2. Deliver me in thy righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline thy ear unto me and save me. Verse 3. Be thou my strong habitation, whereunto I may continually resort that has given commandment to save me for thou art my rock and my fortress verse 4 deliver me O my power out of the hand of the wicked and out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man so we're asking the Lord how about she y'all shot coming back and deliver us man okay to save us from my enemies <coughs> okay all right Let's see, anything else I had? So, um, that's pretty much it, man. I'm going to end it here. All right, so Lord willing, I pray this lesson was edifying and straight to the point. All praises and glorifications go to you. How about Shai? Yao Shai? Bashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles, a great millstone who were well. Peace, blessings, and salutations go to the whole for let that scatter abroad. <clears throat> See you with another lesson soon, Lord willing. Call me on Sharon, Sean Wong. Wild about the ball, about the one BTA, about the ball. Boom. Sean Wong to next time, Sean Wong.